Okay, so today we're going to look at abdominal massage. This is again from my 2003 training video. So we can start by doing some circular movements and warming up the area and uh, feeling for tension in different bands actually. Nowadays I consider there's four bands that run through the belly. So we've got the big toe belly band, we've got the delta band, we've got the upper little toe band and the outer little toe band. So we can definitely access different areas and do different stretches here. You just have to be a little bit careful with that stretch on men. It can be if you're not careful, you can catch the reproductive organs there and crush them a bit. So just be careful. But it is a good, good stretch and can click that lower back into place. So what I'm describing here is the large intestine and how it goes up, across, and down, and we can work it in a series of circular friction movements. So this way of working abdominal massage can be very good for people who are constipated or who have any problems with their bowels. So, so working up and around in circular movements. Sometimes you'll feel tight areas here that aren't muscular tension. They're actually fecal uh, deposits, which is common in cases of constipation so we can break them up and we're always working that from the right side going up across and down on the left because <coughs> that's the direction that the bowel moves and you don't want to be uh, going the opposite way and pushing it back into the small intestine so there's a area right in between the pelvic bone and the belly button called the ileocecal valve and that's where the small intestine changes to the large intestine so we start around there and work up up under the liver area there and across the transverse colon. So you've got the ascending colon on the right, transverse on the top, and descending on the left. And then we've got a large amount of small intestinal muscle that we're working too, and a lot of that can become tight. So even though it's what we call involuntary muscle, which is controlled by the subconscious part of the brain, uh, stress can still make it tight. That's why we have see so many digestive disorders today coming from stress. Um, so the small intestinal muscle can all become tightened up and uh, in Ayurvedic medicine that's the center of what we call the Agni or the digestive fire and when there's a lot of stress and tension there it puts out the Agni or digestive fire similar in Western medicine the concept the metabolism that is in Ayurveda it's considered a fire interestingly both in Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine the small intestine is ruled by the fire element so here we're just trying to open up, getting to breathe into what we call a dantian. Dantian is an area about an inch and a half or so, two, two or three centimeters below the belly button. And that's a really important part of good rainer massage is getting people to deep breathe so that it helps let go of tension and stress. And then we're just working up where we can feel that tension. Nowadays, again, I would definitely work that from the source, which is um, the toes depending upon which band it is. There's a band close to the belly button called the big toe belly band. There's another band a little bit further away that I call the delta band. And then another band further out called the upper little toe band. And on the very side of the body, there's the outer little toe band. And right now we're working on the big toe belly band. And just trying to work over it, cross fiber that muscular tension. And work around the large intestine as well, or the small intestine here. And again, just getting them to take that deep breath. Deep breathing is so important. It's such an underestimated um, thing in, in health, really. And, and you can see even now, I guess, with this pandemic going on, how important the respiratory system is. But the deep breathing actually calms the mind and does so much. It's a very important aspect of many 
Eastern medical philosophies and martial arts and that sort of thing where they say if you can deep breathe into your belly you'll get more grounded, connect with your feet, opponents won't be able to sweep your feet out from under you. I consider it an incredibly important part of health, somebody that can deep breathe because it's also like important in meditation and it's, it's to me it's like the subconscious mind in the tummy um, which is why you see so many um, what I call like nervous digestive problems. So yeah, it's a it's a great way to get in.